Okay, I'll take you bring you another video on information technology. Today, I want to talk about computer parts. So today, we're going to open this up, and I'm just going to go over one by one each part that's on the computer, and I'll show it to you. So, without further ado, let's open this up. So this is a HP computer. This is from 2000 and, i say 2000, maybe, oh, so it's a HP Pavilion Elite HPE. So, so you know what it is exactly, you know exactly what it is. Um, I don't really use this computer anymore. I upgraded it a few years ago as a Windows 7 Home. I don't really, don't really use it anymore. But we're gonna open it up. I'm gonna look at the parts and I'll show you what each part does and what how it works, how our computer works. So I'm gonna flip it over. So if you see here, here are the components. A little further. So this is the power plug for the computer, obviously. The fan over here. Right over here. And these are all the ports on the back of the computer. So here we have DVI, VGA, USB ports. Uh, the green one is the sound. The red one is the mic. You have a few USB ports down here. This over here is the internet cable. So you have internet on your computer. And then depending on whatever make or model you have, you will have a graphics card um, Right over here, you you put a you put a graphics card right here, and then basically those whatever depending on the card you have, you would have a, a HDMI, DVI, um, Display Port, whatever whatever you, whatever card you have basically. So it's basically that. Now now that we looked at that, I actually want to open it, so I'm gonna. This one has the screws on the side. I'm gonna open it. This has a, this has a, I think it's just one screw. Take that out. Leave that on the side over here. So, you see this, all this stuff? That's what it is. I'm gonna take, take, I'm gonna take stuff out and go over one by one. So, move a little further so you know you see what I'm doing. So all of this stuff here is the um, memory, the RAM. You, just, you unclick it from the bottom and unclick it from the top. And basically you take out the memory like that. So I have memory. And um, depending on the memory, you, you, you have... Uh, DDR1, DDR2, DDR3, 4, 5, 6, it's been going up and up every year. It's, and basically, the more memory you have, the more the more uh, programs and applications you're able to run. This is basically what memory does on a computer. Also, you need to have a good CPU, which is a little chipset on the motherboard. If you don't have a good CPU, then you have problems when you're trying to um, open up all these applications. So you got to have good memory. You gotta have a good CPU, you gotta have a good graphics card, and um, nowadays everyone runs with an SSD, a solid state drive. And uh, this is a regular hard drive over here, which I'm about to take out. Uh, just gonna unplug these cables over here. Like that one. Let's see, I'll take it out. You had to unscrew the whole thing just to take out the hard drive if I remember correctly. You can just take it out like that. So I'm just gonna leave it alone. We have the hard drive. That's the hard drive over here. Um basically. This is the hard drive right over here. Um this cable here is the is it goes to the hard drive. This is to give it power. And then there's another cable over here. You plug these two bad boys here and it gives the power to the motherboard. We have a we have a fan over here. Um this is the motherboard, obviously. The green the whole green board is the motherboard. Um this little thing over here, putting my hand on right over here. This computer doesn't work anymore, by the way, so uh, I'm just playing and touching with it. You shouldn't be putting your hands on the motherboard or any of these components. 
But um, this over here, this little battery, is the CMOS battery. So what that means is, it's the battery that that um, it holds the uh, it retains the information of the BIOS. So if you make any changes in the BIOS, you basically have to have a battery installed here. Otherwise, when you make some changes and you exit out of the BIOS on a computer, when you press the escape key, the escape key or you press F two or F1, depending on, on the on the BIOS that you have, um, it, you need to have a battery. And also, it saves the date and time information on the computer. So, so if, you don't, if you don't have this battery here, and your computer will keep going to the wrong date and time, and then when it goes to the wrong date and time, you have no access to the internet. You get, you get this like certificate error on Chrome, Firefox, or IE. Um, but that's the reason why it's important that you have a... a a CMOS battery on a laptop or a desktop because when you when you're for this is for example like if someone has a computer and and the date and time keeps going back or reverting back to a different date and time it's probably because the battery is messed up and they, they need to replace the battery it's a little a little it's a little circle battery it's like three bucks two bucks you just replace it you take the old one out put the new one in and that's it and then your battery's good to go um, yeah, so so that's that. This over here. Um, let's see, give me a second. This over here. I don't know if you can see it. A bit closer to you. This over here, little thing over here. This is the wireless card. So if you have if you have if you need Wi-Fi, where that's where it'd be coming from. This is a wireless card, so it's basically what that is. Um, this is the power supply. This little box. This box is the power supply. Um, it's a hard. It's a regular hard drive. Like I went over. It's an SSD. The SSD are more flat. Uh, regular hard drive is three point five, and that's. Regular hard drive is 3.5, and, 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 and a SSD is a 2.5 hard drive, which you need like a special, a special hard drive case to hold it down and put it on the computer. I mean, you could put it in there, and but it'll like it'll flop everywhere like, when you're moving the PC. Um, SSD are much much better because they, they they don't have any remove any movable parts. They're more electronic based. And um, they're 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 really they're like they're making the computer two times faster. So if you have a laptop, for instance, you, I would I would recommend putting SSD on the laptop. Um, if you have a desktop, I would put an SSD on it. Um, for people that work in finance or people that work in IT, typically you would have a, a thin client, which basically means the necessary components to to a computer for a user. So if, if they only need 8 gigs of RAM, we'll give them 8 gigs of RAM. It would typically be an 8 gigs of RAM, a smaller desktop compared to this one. This is a huge, smaller desktop with 8 gigs of RAM and an SSD and mouse and keyboard, and they're good to go. Um, if, depending who it is, it's a thick client. Basically means it's a power user. They would have uh, a giant desktop similar to this. Uh, it would be like ramped up with 16 gigs of RAM. Um, they would have a, a high-end graphics card. They will have a high-end CPU, and um, they would have an they would have an SSC, SSD, a terabyte hard drive, and a few other things on it. So that's basically what they would have. So that's a thick client. A thin client is basically the basics, just like the essentials of a computer. And then a thick client is a computer that has the the stuff it needs to run, like Adobe Photoshop or if you do like editing software and stuff like that, then they would need something like that. So yeah, that's basically it. So the hard drive, the hard drive stores all your data and information on a computer. So if if you ever if you ever go to a, like a Best Buy or if you go to like a a, a lab like a a repair store like the Geek Squad laptop place in in um. They tell you they can't take out the hard drive. They're 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 probably lying to you. Um, uh, some hard drives are soldered to the board, which basically they're glued to it. You can't really take it out. Um, 
It depends, it depends what kind of computer you have. For most parts, they come with, with this big giant hard drive. Um, if it's a desktop, if it's a, if it's a, if it's a laptop, it's a smaller version of this. It's just like really, really small hard drive. You can just take it out and then pop it in and put it on another computer or, or take the data out of it and move it over, move the data over. Um, and that's what it is. Just, this, stores your, this stores all your data. Uh, memory, obviously, I just went over the memory. Memory, memory uh, controls uh, how many processes or how many things you run. You know, you, when you right click on Windows 7, 8, or 10 and you go to the task manager and it tells you how many processes you're running. Uh, this is the memory right here. It controls that along with the CPU and along with, depending on the motherboard you have, it, you know, it, 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 it depends what kind of computer you have. You have to have a good CPU, good memory, and um, and a hard drive, I'm not, I'm not really a fan of regular hard drives. I would put an SSD on a computer if you have a desktop. So that's what that is. And then, um, depending on the make and model of your computer, you obviously you will have a few USB ports. Uh, you will have a, 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 um, like a like a smart media card or. Or or or, uh, or one of these SD cards or something like that. Um, you can have, you'll have a DVD player, have a DVD player, um, power button obviously, and a button to open it. But yeah, that's basically what what that's basically a computer. Basically, what a computer is, and um, that's what it is. So I, I just wanted to go over like the, the the basics of a computer, pretty much for anyone that's not familiar with a computer. This is the the basics of a computer. If you have any any questions about it, you could ask me. But this is the basics of a computer for for beginners, basically, because not everyone knows how to open a computer, and not every, anyone knows what the what the parts of the computers do. It kind of confuses them. So, memory is basically uh, the more memory you have, the more stuff you can open. Hard drive stores your information. Uh, the CMOS battery, the little circle battery that I went over. That that's that stay that saves your date and time. This is a power supply. Obviously, power supply powers the whole computer up. Um, the CPU, which we can't see it, it's in here. It's on, under the fan. It's holding down the the, the it's holding down the CPU. But under here is the CPU, which is a central processing unit, which basically is the brain of the computer. If you don't have the CPU, you cannot turn on the computer. You probably can, but you'll get a series of beeps. Same with memory. If you take the memory out of a computer, you'll get a series of beeps, maybe like seven to eight beeps. So uh, these, these, the, everything here does something. A hard drive, storage data, memory, application is open, depending on how much memory you have. You, have, you don't have enough memory, your computer gets starts to get a little slow. Um, power supply, wireless card. I went over the USB ports. There's USB, USB type one, type two, type three. There USB type blue. There's blue colors. There's bright, there's blue. There's red colors. There's black colors. Depending on the type of type of uh, USB. Same with uh, mother. Same with the memory and the motherboard. Um, the colors mean something. It's not. It doesn't mean anything. It actually does mean something. If it's blue, black, whatever, it's because uh, this DDR1, DDR2, DDR3, which is different types of memory. So. They actually mean something on a, on a, on a, on the motherboard, so you just, you can look at that as well. Um, and um, and that's it. That's basically everything. So I guess we got everything down pat in under fifteen minutes, which is good because this is this is basically what it is. Just wanted to go over like the essentials of a desktop. So I'm done with this video. Um, I hope everyone has a great day. Um, Rate, comment, subscribe, and greatly appreciate it. It says here each day, I am thankful for nights that turn into mornings, friends that turn into family, and dreams that turn into reality, and likes that turn into love. So you guys give me a like. I greatly appreciate it. And I hope everyone has a great Sunday, and have a good day. Take care. Bye.